I know you guys are thinking with that being said, like, okay, so can I retake these classes? And if I retake them, do they like change? Do they replace the, the bad grades or the poor grades that I had on my previous transcripts? And the answer is... What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. So I am really excited because I've been getting these questions asked to me a lot and I love it when you guys ask me questions because it helps feed the channel with more content and I get to feel like I'm helping you all. So please, if you haven't already done so or if something pops in your mind, go ahead and leave a comment in my comment section right now um, on a question that you may have about anything PA school related or PA related and I will do my best to answer it. So I've been doing all these consultations sessions and I've been coming up with some questions that you guys are consistently asking me and it's about your GPA and your grades and retaking classes and does it even really matter so that's what we're gonna be talking about today so knowing your GPA both science and cumulative GPA is like knowing your social security number you have to know that thing like the back of your hand so it helps you understand what you're able to do like your social security number helps you understand like where you can go in life like what kind of credit you might be able to get or you know I don't I don't know like it, they use their social security number for everything and so it's the same thing with the GPA when you are applying to PA school you need to know like hey am I even eligible to get into this particular program do I meet the minimum GPA requirement so knowing both your cumulative and science GPA is imperative to your application but that being said I know that a lot of you are you know coming to this career as like a second career or you may have gone through like undergrad a little bit like a while ago and then it's like you didn't do the best in your undergrad but post-grad like maybe you had like a graduate work or something like that um, that you did and you've done a whole lot better and Casper is asking for not only your grad school transcripts but also your undergraduate transcripts and for me I needed to also present my high school transcripts because I took AP classes that were um, you know, for college credit. So they needed to see all of that to calculate my overall GPA. And that can be really scary and really like, just like, what the freak? I mean, I've gone to school. I didn't do the best in my freshman and sophomore year. Why do you need those transcripts from like my community college that I went to like six years ago or whatever the case may be? Well, they do. And so you have to actually provide them with that. Now, I know you guys are thinking with that being said, like, okay, so can I retake these classes? And if I retake them, do they like, change do they replace the the bad grades or the poor grades that I had on my previous transcripts and the answer is no so I wanted to make this very very clear for you because this came up a lot in my sessions CASPA does not replace your grades now it is up to the school that you're applying to to replace those grades for you should they choose so um, they might be calculating a prerequisite GPA which some um, PA schools actually do do and therefore what will happen is they will just choose your either most recent or your best grade for that particular course and calculate your overall prerequisite GPA so it is like, it's not like a bad thing, you know, like it, you should do it. I know like you might be weighing your options like, well, should I really do this? I mean, if it's not replacing it, like why, what's the point in me actually like doing this and taking this course over again? So the point is, is that if your school is actually creating a prerequisite GPA for you, and then do it, you know, it's important, do it because this will boost your prerequisite and maybe they look more highly on the prerequisite GPA than they do the overall or science GPA. And so those are things you have to take into consideration. But what I want you to understand with CASPA is when you are giving them all of your transcripts, all of the coursework that you've ever done in your life, even if you went to like one community college a long time ago and you took only one course from that school, you still have to get that transcript as well because they make you like sign something that says, yes, I've, got, I've sent you all my transcripts and everything is true and honest to my best knowledge. And they need all of that to calculate your overall GPA. So when they're doing that, they're just taking an average. So you have an A in one course in that course, like let's say biology that you took years ago and then you retook 
you had a C in it and then you retook it and you got an A. Now they're gonna like marry the two together, get an average and you'll come out to likely be a B, depending on how high your A was. Like was it an A plus or an A minus, whatever the case may be, you might have like a B, B plus, B minus. So that is how they do it. And it's important for you to understand that because that will help you calculate your own GPA as well. So when you're going to think about, hey, it's time for me to apply, I wanna see what schools I can apply to, it is important for you to try to calculate your science GPA and your overall GPA yourself prior to actually applying through CASPA and have them calculate it for you. Because you wanna know, okay, I can apply to these schools, okay? So hopefully this is helpful for you guys. I really wanted to share that with you because it's been coming up a lot. Please like this video, subscribe, um, hit me and leave me a comment because it helps my YouTube channel out a lot. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. Hit me up at Adana the PA on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.